What's up school fans, welcome back to the vlog Wah hari ini sedikit berbeda nih starting Karena me udah pakai jersey timeout gay, yes Sebelum kita ngeliput Dewa United melalui Prawira Harum Bandung hari ini Kita akan sparring dulu guys Wah ini tim timeout geng udah pada siap nih di sini. Kita akan ngelawan Halo Basket hari ini It is, ini cuma untuk fun aja, untuk seru-seruan juga saling kenal aja sih antar media basket lainnya So, I really appreciate Halo Basket udah datang hari ini dan juga mau seru-seruan sama Time Out Gang And yeah, kita cari keringat dulu hari ini guys, tapi big game though, super excited Walaupun Prawira hari ini back to back Tapi gue harapkan gamenya akan tetap kompetitif sih hari ini Seperti biasa lah, kita menonton Gail, Fizz, Jordan Adams, of course, Dane Miller, Christian James, Yuda So, I think hopefully Yuda hari ini bisa 20 poin lah, kayaknya Yuda belum pernah 20 poin di season ini ya so hopefully today is the day untuk dia bisa 20 poin sih so, eh of course juga harus nonton Kaleb, gue gak boleh lupa so it's gonna be fun tonight uh, semoga kalian akan enjoy vlognya uh, jangan lupa untuk like, jangan lupa untuk comment, jangan lupa untuk nonton secara full juga and really appreciate everybody kemarin juga dia udah nonton Run Salon Borneo uh, vlog gue, thank you banget lumayan ramai ternyata vlognya so really appreciate everybody kalau gitu guys, buat adin dulu guys and I will see you guys when I go to Tangerang sekarang kita udah menuju ke Dewa United Arena naik Bluebird dan kalau lihat di mapnya sekitar 52 menit guys <laughs> jadi kita enjoy lah nih Jakarta lagi cakep juga nih pas lagi udah mataharinya terbenam City Life kita udah nyampe nih guys di depan parking lotnya Dewa United dan kalian bisa parkir sini lalu mereka udah nyiapin shuttle bus guys shuttle busnya gratis is di depannya parking lot ini dan gampang lah nyarinya nih tulisannya anak dewa jadi kalau gitu guys kita nebeng dulu nih buat ke lapangan guys we just made it to Dewa United Arena and it is raining hard guys lari 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 aduh lapangannya kelihatannya keren nih dari luar nih wah yang gue time out geng nih hey, time out geng hey, what's up dewa dewa wah anak dewa <laughs> anak dewa sampai mood on top yes, <laughs> Sekarang kita udah di dalam guys Dan ini adalah vibes-nya Untuk lapangan di Dewa United Udah mulai penuh sih Sekarang ini Rawira dan Dewa juga pada mulai pemanasan So look at that screen though That, that screen is huge yo uh, Keren sih ini Semoga ini jadi standar baru lah Ntar untuk tim-tim IBL Jordan Adams Best player so far What up, bro? Good luck tonight, man. I am good. Yeah, baik banget ya. Nyamperin dulu.
DJ. Good luck, bro. He has to cook tonight. He has to cook something tonight because he has no big man at all. Calvin is not playing. Julius and Rizal Fakoni is not playing. So Pandu, Pandu is the only guy, the only big man they have. So this is going to be really interesting.
I'm sorry, I was late. <laughs> um, can you just talk about the last sequence by Lesser with that big shot and of course the block as well? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, like he's been doing these four games so far, uh, Lester has been a key part of what we do. And as you said, also down the stretch, uh, you know, two days ago uh, against Hawks, he was key also on defense. Uh, and today the same with his blocks, with his presence, answer under the basket, with uh, his rebounding. So there's no way we are pulling this off, these four games without his uh, defensive uh, progress. Thank you. Uh, yes, um, I thought today was a great game. Two really good teams. I think two championship level teams. Uh, they. You know, did a good job with the recruitment, their imports, being able to get Leicester makes a big difference to help out, uh, you know, and um, so they're, they're, they're tough. And uh, we knew that coming in. We understand we're at a little bit of a deficit. We have uh, three big men out tonight, Falcone, Kelvin, and our import. And uh, I'll just say I'm extremely proud of this team. Uh, I thought we had a chance to win. I thought we uh, had chances where we could have quit and we didn't. And uh, the boys kept fighting, pushing through, making big plays, imports, locals. Uh, it was a beautiful thing to see. Um, it really showed me again, this is the first time this season that I felt that this team is back to our championship level. Uh, the boys showed their, um, their quality tonight. And so I'm very, very, very proud of the boys um, and, uh, and our team. So this is something we can totally build off of. It's the first game of the season where I feel uh, excited about moving forward and what's going to happen with us and uh, I think the boys feel that too so uh, the future is very bright uh, we're looking to go and dominate um, our next matchup and then uh, I know we're going to get a lot better after this game game um, yeah, tetap kompos di saat-saat akhir, saat-saat crunch um, sedangkan kita tadi ada beberapa, terutama, terutama uh, gua gua tadi ada beberapa ngelakuin turnover yang menurut gua um, jadi pembanding banget, game changer banget itu uh, big turnover banget, nah itu gua mesti harus belajar lagi dan yang pasti, bener dikata Coach Dev um, menurut gua, gua juga, uh, kita kali ini, hari ini mainnya lebih bagus juga dari game kemarin um, ya yang penting mah kita harus tetap belajar di setiap game dan ya harus biar kita bisa sampai tetap uh, ke potensi maksimal kita. <coughs> Oke, okay, Yud, ini kan tahun pertama ya kita home and away, back to back. Bisa cerita sedikit nggak sih kalau sebagai pemain kan pemain mainnya di Jakarta, tuh timur atau utara ya? Timur. Terus sekarang pindah ke sini Tangerang. Kalau sebagai pemain itu gimana sih recoverynya? Apakah susah? Apakah terlalu pendek atau oke okay, atau gimana? Kalau recovery pendek mah udah pasti karena kita hmm. um, aja game kemarin baru beres hmm. jam 10-an yeah. terus kita baru nyampe hotel jam 11 jam 12 an terus kita harus mesti ada makin treatment treatment untuk persiapan game hari ini um, cuma yang lebih challenging itu yaitu paling kita harus atur waktu tidurnya kita harus waktu atur waktu atur apa istirahatnya terus juga itu mah hmm. itu juga ini sih um, ya itu dari kita juga udah ngeset yang bagus lah untuk time managementnya jadi biar kita nggak terlalu lama, istirahat, kita nggak terlalu lama, um, santai gitu. Cuman ya cukup <laughs> apa ya adaptasi baru-baru baru-baru ini kayak cukup berat juga untuk back to back kayak gini, apalagi pindah kota, pindah kota kan masalahnya. Tadi ngeliat Hans finally kayaknya this is his best game of the season so far. Gimana akhirnya bisa ngeliat Hans bisa meledak three pointnya kayak gitu tadi? Um, jujur gue sih gak surprise karena hmm. ya I know what he capable of ya gue tahu dia tuh bisa apa aja gue tahu dia super deal hmm. apa jadi gue mah gak surprise sih kayak tadi kayak hmm. emang gue sering banget ngobrol sama Hans hmm. kok ini tinggal gimana kita cari klik kita pasti enak udah itu doang sih thank you coach yes last play 2.5 seconds left yes. off a timeout cannot even get off a shot, can just break down, what um, happened? It was, you know, I, I put that on me. I think uh, mm. we had a little bit of a mess up in our substitutions. Um, Han should have been in the game, and uh, that was totally my uh, error. Um, but, you know, we, we looked to do something. I was kind of hard on myself about that. Normally, 
I love those situations and those ATOs. It excites me. We're shoot, man. We were statting this for the last two years. We're like 80 plus percent on our ATOs. Um, just as a staff, we always like to do stuff like that. So it always bugs me. It always is gonna bother me. Uh, those type of things, but uh, I got to put the boys in a better situation to try to get some sort of shot up on the glass. They did a great job of extending their defense and being physical and, and pressuring out. Um, and so, yeah, it was just a it was just a tough it's a tough spot. Two seconds left uh, against a, you know, a quality team, but uh, we will be better in that situation next time. Um, and, and I know that the boys will, will uh, be excited for it. Coach uh, Dane, he has eight turnovers. Yes. He, his turnover has been pretty high. Yeah. How can you take off some pressure off him, you know, to minimize his turnovers? Yeah, I think uh, that's something we've talked about with Dane a lot. I think uh, he, he understands that, you know, protecting the ball is, is a gold standard here. And we got to do a better job. To be honest, these first, let's say, four games, we've just been throwing the ball all over the place. And uh, we really, really, really got to clean that up. Some of it comes down to execution, organization, people knowing where they're supposed to be, the timing of plays. Um, being on the same page, um, that, that some of that stuff, but uh, some of the stuff he can control and he needs to be better at. Um, and I, at the same time, like tonight was a night where he played 40 minutes. So he's on the court a bunch, he's got the ball in his hands, he's doing different things. So, um, you know, when we do in the future have opportunities to get him off the floor, sub him a little bit more, uh, we will, um, and, and give him some time off, give him some rest. But tonight we really wanted to go for this and we really thought we had a chance to do it and he helped us stay in the game, uh, we thought. So, uh, yeah, it's something that he's got to look at and we got to look at together, but uh, we definitely got to be better there. Coach, how much sleep did you have last night, you know, <laughs> not having three big men? Yeah. You know, how much time do you need to build this game plan tonight? You know, uh, mm. I tell these guys all the time, our coaches normally stay up to 1, 2 in the morning, like doing video, doing mm. the scouting reports and stuff like that. So. We, I had a le another long night. It was a hard night to sleep because even last game I felt that game should have been an easy 20-point win and we just messed around with the ball. We were up 12 points. We messed around with the ball. So just, uh, it's, uh, let's say, unnormal territories for me right now. Uh, in the past, like I said the other day, we won so much. We win so much. We dominate so much. And uh, we're not doing that right now. We're not playing that way. But tonight was a beautiful thing. I thought the boys banded together. I thought they really said, you know what, enough is enough, and said uh, it's time to draw a line in the sand and choose what we want to be and what we want to do. And I really felt the, the energy, the focus, uh, the fight, and, uh, and, I, and I really appreciate that. So I'm so proud of the boys, and I think now we can see the level we are and uh, mm. that we can play with anybody. I know it's, it's not the result that you wanted. Um, you guys came out short, but what positive can you take moving forward from this game? Yeah, I just think, uh, you know, playing against a team like that, an undefeated team, uh, they're scoring a lot of points. I mean, normally they're in the hundreds. I thought we really bogged them down at times. I really thought we made it difficult on them to score. Uh, we had multiple, multiple stops in a row. Um, and I just felt like um, one thing that we're, we've been able to rely on this season is our defense. Our defense has been super quality. Even the PJ game, we were holding them down, um, you know, in the first half. Um, even late into the game until they kind of popped in the fourth quarter and even tonight I felt our defense got multiple stops we hustled all over the place to make plays with you know a uh, kind of depleted lineup um, so that's what I've been very proud of and then just obviously like being down 10 with like five or six minutes left in the game it's an easy chance to go down 20 to kind of quit give up let the crowd get into it and these guys didn't quit at all they actually went harder they pushed more and they caused them to make mistakes and things like that and so that was the biggest thing I felt was uh, was the resiliency the resiliency of this team uh, the focus and like I said the championship pedigree I felt showed up tonight and uh, if we can get that from these boys every game we're gonna be in great shape this season promise you last one yes. from me <laughs> uh, Christian James almost had a triple double today yes. Yes. Uh, I know you and him I saw it on the court like you know you keep <laughs> yelling at him, yeah. screaming at him. Yeah. Just how much more comfortable is he with the offense in your system so far now? Well, man, I'll say tonight was his night. I, I mean, mm. to be honest, like I felt Christian was the most comfortable tonight. And I was like, that's what it was. There's so much more in Christian. I think he doesn't even understand his potential. Mm. Uh, he doesn't even understand uh, what he can be and where he can go. And the guy has game. He's got, you know, great body. He's got athleticism. He's got finishing. He can shoot. He can dribble. He can shake. So 
Uh, Chris has just got to get comfortable within the sets, within the flow, within the way we do things. And I thought tonight he did that. You see the skill and talent that he has, the strength that he has, um, the ability to make passes and score. Um, so the sky's the limit for Chris. I'm just on him. I'm pushing him. I'm not going to let him relax. And I think you're going to get those type of outputs from Chris more often when he's locked in and focused like that. Thank you, Coach. Yes. Yo guys, what a game tonight! Gila sih seru banget gamenya asli. Tapi tadi terakhir Lester Prosper, he came out clutch dengan tembakannya juga dengan blocknya. Em first gue ngambil apa juga si Patrick sih juga played really well, kasih quality minutes juga in crunch time. Tadi juga nembak three point. Yang dewa hari ini menang tipis atas Prawira Harum Bandung. Man, tapi it was very entertaining sih the game. Of course it was a hard fought battle. Big shout out juga kepada Prawira Harum Bandung tanpa tiga big man loh. Gila loh mereka. Masih in the game until the end sampai detik-detik akhir tadi tapi defensenya dewa sih sama akhir-akhir defensenya okay banget sih so man amazing game man I had so much fun and of course pertama kali ngeliput di Dewa United Arena semoga tim-tim bisa dapat inspirasi dari sini karena menurut gue arena ini bisa jadi standar sih ke depannya untuk tim-tim yang ingin bangun lapangan fasilitasnya gila fasilitas ini bagus banget sih ada ice bed ada ruang terapi ada semuanya sih tapi kita belum bisa tur nanti kapan-kapan semoga bisa tur tapi kalau lihat dari lapangannya pun juga vibesnya asik banget di sini tapi yang sedikit kurang gede kalau bisa lebih gede lebih mantap di sini tapi ya tapi ini udah sesuatu yang keren banget menurut gue ada untuk sebuah olahraga sebuah tim basket di Indonesia punya lapangan arena sendiri itu menurut gue keren banget sih so ya itu aja sih liputan gue hari ini guys once again thank you so much guys for watching semoga kalian enjoy the vlog and minggu depan kayak gue gak ngeliput IBL dulu sih guys karena gue akan ke pekan baru I'm going there untuk ngeliput ada pertanyaan Raja Wali Cup ya kalau kalian namanya itu banyak tim-tim SMA yang keren-keren sih disitu akan tani jadi kita akan kesana dulu libur dulu liputan IBL ya so once again thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys very soon peace out everybody